This is a rotating group change uh, going from uh, 100 cc's to uh, 305 cc's. Uh, the, the change that we're doing here again is making sure that the orientation of the uh, back plate is placed exactly back. This is the top end. As you can see, you have dynamic, uh, the tag there. Some folks may mark a, a bolt, uh, but it's as simply as making sure that the orientation of this is put back uh, from here. So what we're doing is, is we're doing a rotating group change for the dynamic fluid components, BMER series, which you can do with any displacement uh, from 100 cc's up to our 750 cc's. Lift the whole section so everything stays together. Make sure your seals are good. All you're doing is swapping out. Make sure your seals are good first. All right. Lift the whole section together. You want to face it the same direction. If it doesn't line up, you can with the drive link inside, you can turn until you line it up and it'll set in place. Keep everything together, it's very important. And you're gonna torque these at 40 foot pounds. Again, the BMER dynamic motor line, the back bolt plates are torqued at 40 foot pounds. We have just shown you how to make a rotating group change. It's critical that your seals are in place. It's critical that your torque of 40 foot pounds is also applied. And most importantly, again, the orientation of how it was removed needs to be replaced back to the motor.